Hello, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good. I was uh, actually laying in bed, and I just hear, is Lim not here? And I, like, <laughs> jump up, and I'm like, all right, I'm awake. <laughs> Ready to go. Yeah, the, we had a... If you could switch yeah. them around, that would be ideal. So thank you for being uh, flexible in that sense. Yeah, no problem. Luckily, I don't work till later in the day today, so yeah, it's I'm good. available. Good, because yeah, and then if you do it after flag raising Ursus, then that would be a little bit too. Uh, a little bit too close. Yeah, for me. it would be a tight squeeze there. So I mean, if I miss flag raising Ursus, it's whatever. Like we usually do it, uh, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, Gotta get used to this new PIC. Uh, I did log in because I you were talking about this. I think it was yesterday. They don't like when people send you albums as soon as they request for it because then gear changes. Uh -huh. I have some <laughs> gear changes. Yeah, so maybe the better the sooner we do it. So not, <laughs> not too much needs to be. Uh... <laughs> it's not big. It's not big stuff. Uh, I'm just wearing Necro set right now. Okay. Um, I'm logged in, so I can tell you anything that you need, or I can screen share if you need that, if that's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can, uh, yeah, if it's, if it's, like, super important, then we can, uh, then we can do that. Um, yeah. But, yeah, as you know from these sessions, a lot of the times it's more like, you know, as long as all the general peripheral stuff is in order, we can do more actionable stuff when it comes to the gear, but in general, um, you know, what exactly you're wearing isn't the most important stuff it's just like general right. direction on where to move right yeah that's like the biggest thing for me right now um especially with uh zero's particular brand of weirdness yeah yeah there'll probably be a little bit of a learning curve for me as well but we figured some stuff out already right when mm -hmm. when zero first came out with the set bonus and and, and stuff to go um but um first things first how was uh how's zero in general are you liking it okay um uh -oh. <laughs> no 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 it's Loaded positive question? Okay, okay but i'm trying to find the right words uh i was originally so i, w I went through three phases i'm in the third phase right now and the mm -hmm. third phase is i'm back in love with the class okay first phase was oh my gosh this is really fun mm -hmm. and super different and i'm really enjoying it second phase was doubt okay it's like Usually I don't play the support kind of class. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm like big dick DPS. Sure. Like before before this class, I mean I was a Ho Young and a Dawn Warrior. You did progression yep. session with my Dawn with my Ho Young. Yep. Yes. Um. So I mean. A while ago. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. That was uh almost a year ago. Uh. No? Eight or so months, I think. Mm hmm. Something like that. Yep. Um, so I was like, I wasn't vibing with the whole, like, eh, my damage numbers are low, eh, eh, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I, I, I overcame, I overcame that that sort of blockage, and then I'm like, all right, it's really cool that I can just bind a boss for about a minute if I really need to. <laughs> yeah, that is that is quite. Uh... <laughs> there's some utility there that uh, not all classes uh, possess, yeah. Yeah, if I really need to, I can. I mean, I can just I can keep binding because you have the uh, the threads of fate bind, the Yorozu bind, or whatever mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. and then you have Shadow Rain, and then your fifth job, and you can reset all those several the times. Resets, I'm two twenty one, yeah. by the way. Yeah, two twenty one. Okay. Yeah, and the um, and then the what's the other one? The um, critical bind. Critical bind. Yeah, that one. That one has its mm -hmm. own cooldown, though, right? Yeah, uh, it has a thirty-five second cooldown. It's not. It doesn't factor into the bind cycle. Yeah. So if if you're constantly attacking, the everyone else will see like resist, 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 buff up all the time. Oh yeah, my chat is constantly filled with critical bind cannot be activated for blah 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 amount yeah. of seconds. <laughs> Yeah. It's a little annoying, but I mean, I got used to it. Yeah, I mean, you get, yeah. It's either that or not being able to bind, so, you know. It's a trade-off that needs to be made. <laughs> right. Um, and the so, I th there's this, like, weird nuance that I learned um, with how Shadow, ro how, how Shadow Rain and Critical Bind interact. 
the bind that comes from Shadow Rain is actually just Critical Bind. But it has 100% activation rate. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't activate the cooldown. So you can't, like, overlap Shadow Rain and Critical Bind. Oh, okay. So if you're if you're doing your crit your shadow rain spam, which is uh which like in end game would be the Yorzu bind, shadow rain, reset, Yorzu bind, shadow rain, reset, Yorzu bind, shadow rain. And then you would start attacking. Yeah. Um it doesn't like overlap. So shadow bind or critical bind will always hit after your last shadow rain is up. As long as it's off cooldown. But it, so, so the ideal thing would be yours is shadow, yours is shadow, yours is shadow critical. Yeah, critical, and then after critical wears off, you hit your fifth job. Then you hit the fifth job bind, yeah. And fifth job is like your real bind, the one that counts <laughs> against bind timer. Mm -hmm. It's ten seconds long. So then you have eight deal. binds, basically. Yes, around. I, Dur during your session, problem. yeah, and then and then as soon as um, and then like thirty seconds later, then criticals can start procking again. Yeah, and if your party members have your Ozu too, they can plop it down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right after you do your final set, mm -hmm. then they just they all hit theirs, and then you have forever amount of traps stocked up in the corner, and the <laughs> boss is just standing there constantly, just like, ah. Oh, right, it can trigger the trap while it's bound, so as soon as it starts moving again, it can as get soon as it, it gets, like, a little buffer. Like, a, the one-second buffer where, it, like, the boss is like, okay, I can move again. Oh, no. Oh, never wait, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, the, okay, so that even makes the bind even longer then, kind of, because in that one second, it's probably not going to be doing much. Yeah, it's just going to move a little bit. And mm -hmm. I mean, that's not really much at all. Yeah, because cause, like, it's mainly like really good against Ferris Hilla and stuff. And I think Ferris Hilla only teleports to where people are, right? Yeah, she always moves to where people are and she doesn't like, she can't teleport away from you. Yeah, it's not like Lotus so... and Damien that sometimes is like, lay the bitch and then just <laughs> goes across the map and you're like, you have to go look for the boss again. One of my guildmates actually posted a gif, uh of a zero um doing their forever bond on damien and it's mm -hmm. the video is just titled titled when you're tired of damien disappearing on you <laughs> yeah it's just hard counter <laughs> with hard binds yeah. yeah so how does it interact with other zeros uh other zeros i think if you have two zeros in your party you can technically just like right after your your cooldown reset bind string you can just keep going because, I mean, it's not an actual bind. It's like a stun. Yeah. So the what they call the, it in the wording. The only thing you can double up on is your is your fifth job bind. All the other ones yeah. you, can, you, could, you could do in a row. Yeah. Because your fifth job binds, like, it does, has the boss mechanic kind of bind thing. Mm -hmm. If you had six zeros, you could probably just, you know, bind pretty much forever. Your DPS would be really low, but... Yeah, you said shit DPS, but boss would not be doing anything, yeah. Yeah, the boss would be still pretty much the entire time. Uh, and then you just... You would have to... I guess you'd have to line up so your fifth jobs are spaced 90 seconds apart. Yeah, yeah, that that would be important, yeah. That would be ideal as well, because it's probably... What is it cooldown? Is it like 120? Uh, let me check. It is... 240. Oh, 240. Okay. Yeah, so you would have greater uptime on that as well. Yeah. Mm. And what are the uh, the resets? One is, is one a hyper and one a fifth? Yeah, one's your... We don't have hyper skills. Yeah, you, well, technically you don't, but it's... it's Transcendence. Kinda, it, yeah, but it's basically hyper skills. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Yeah, we have uh, time holding, which is our hyper, and then we have a fifth job skill named Transcendent Reen's Prayer. Which is a cooldown reset and a bunch of other stuff that makes you really super strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like uh, Cygnus's blessing or goddess or Emper Empress's Cygnus's blessing is the fifth job one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but on crack. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's nice. <laughs> it's pretty fun actually. It makes your your combo stacks that you get not expire 
Mm -hmm. They have no, they have no duration. And you have basically wait combo stacks. Those... That's the the sword and the and the shield. Basically, those two. Uh, you have the two swords. The you have Alpha's combo stacks, which is called Double Time Recon, and then you have uh, Beta's combo stacks, which is Double Time Strength. Oh, okay. What? Well, yeah, but I, wait. I know of two debuffs. One is like a little sword, and the other one is a little shield, right? Oh yeah, the debuffs. The swords. Oh, uh, they're not. The... Okay, so they're not the. Those are not the stacks that you were mentioning. Yeah, no, the stacks that I'm mentioning is um, every time that you use a uh, alpha or beta attack, you get a uh, alpha or beta stack respectively up to ten. Mm -hmm. And it's just a buff, basically. It's like muscle memory, kind of. Right. Right. Okay. But you oh, don't have to yeah. Get anything mm -hmm. to build it. Okay. Nice. Okay. And like betas gives you plus one attack speed and a bunch of damage. Alphas gives you critical rate. Wait, you get decent advanced blessing? What is this shit? Decent blessing? Do I have that? Oh. You get that as a zero? <laughs> no. I think that's just misplaced because it says potential skill. Yeah, what is so that? I think it's just like misplaced, like you get it as a potential on an item. Right, right, okay. So, well, I mean, that would make it go into the zero basics, but, I mean, everyone can have that, right? Yeah, I don't okay, know why, it? but it's there. <laughs> That's weird, yeah. I think it technically, the game sorts it into our transcendent skills for some reason. Mm -hmm. So it would pop up in that menu rather than in your basics menu. Right. Sh Decent Shadow mm -hmm. Eyes works fine, because that pops up in my basics menu. Dec Wait, Decent what? Sharp Eyes? De decent sharp eyes. Okay. I have a decent sharp eyes glove. I think you said shadow eyes. I was like, is this another game? Shadow eyes? <laughs> it's okay. Um, focus, <laughs> focus time. That's... Echo. Right. right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I see that one on the top right of my map all the time. Because zeros can reset it all the time. So you have pure 100% uh, uptime on that. Yeah, our echo is 100% uptime. As long as we have a cooldown reset. Mm-hmm. Time force cost. Wait, so what is time force? Time force is your mana. That's your mana, okay. And that's also boosted by your hyperstat? Yeah, the, the mana hyperstat is uh, also boosts time force. And is that is that an important one? So the reason why I have the points in there is that it's technically... When you're setting up for a burst cycle on zero, you set up as beta um you're supposed to at least it's like the most optimal way to do it mm -hmm. um and beta has lower time force than alpha does as ah. 30 less i think okay so it's recommended that you have 150 on beta for your set for all your setup stuff mm -hmm. it just makes it a little bit more lenient so that if you have to do something again it doesn't like you're not waiting for time force to recover and then you're losing burst right 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 yeah and it, and you also share they also have two different hp bars right so you can mm -hmm. take take you know if, if strategically used you can use the tank certain attacks maybe survive in certain situations yeah and beta has a um uh basically their own close call yeah uh what is it called um immune barrier okay and you have rewind in general as well Yep, rewinds basically door. That's also basically dogs. door. Yep. And you um, wait. So when you heal, it doesn't heal both your characters, right? It only heals the one that you're in right now. When rewind box? No, just in general, if you use a potion. Oh yeah, no, that only heals the one that you're on, but the other one passively regains HP. Right. Okay. And is that like a significant amount? Like, how long would it take to recover like half of your HP, for example? Uh, not long at all. I think. Um, let me, there's actually, where is it? I think it says in dual combat. No, not dual combat. Rin's protection? No. No, I'm trying to... Maple warrior? Dual, oh no, it's not dual combat? I don't know where it says, but it's not too bad at all, I think. Um, I think it takes like around 10 seconds to recover around 50%. Oh, that's not too bad. 
It's like um, your it, time force regens very quickly, but your health like ticks up in chunks. Right, right, right. It's kind of like the old chair times when you. Kind of. Uh, is it? It's like sitting on a really OP chair. <laughs> is it, yeah, yeah, really good one. Yeah, a percentage HP chair instead of those flat amounts with like fifty HP. <laughs> if only. Uh, time force yeah, recovery uh, rate. That's something else. Beta can has a twenty five percent chance on hit to generate a barrier that is equal to your amount of HP or fifty percent of your HP. Fifty mm -hmm. percent of your HP. So you can tank uh, one hundred percent uh, HP attacks. Oh, okay, but that tends to get like chipped at. So if you want to, you want to stay in one stage where it gets chipped and then move to the other one that has the shield still, or do you do you reset the shield when you switch? Well, the way that it works actually is that if you get hit by one hundred percent HP attack, the shield procs before the damage. You right. gain the shield before the damage, so then. It mm -hmm. takes away your shield and 50% of your HP, and then suddenly you're still right. alive. Mm -hmm. So if you get hit, like, I think early, uh, yesterday or something, I was doing NMAG while I was in chat, and uh, I just took a purple meteor, and I'm like, oh, I'm still alive, all right. Okay, that's nice, yeah. That's good <laughs> to know. Or the, the re rewind procs, or, yeah. Yeah. Well, you can see when Ryan Prox has a, has a constant thing up in the top right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Has your little hourglass, and then when it procs, it goes. It does a little thing where you're invincible for a period of time, and then it goes away. So how does um? So what do we need to look at when it comes to like critical rate? Like how different is your critical rate between your different stages and your IED and that kind of stuff? Uh, this is the worst part about playing a zero, in my opinion. Because that's very different, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> One is, yeah. A lot yeah, of crit so, rate, and the other ones have got a lot of crit damage. And... Yeah, your beta has all of the damage and boss damage, and alpha has all of the crit rate, crit damage, and IED. Um, if you combine them together, they'd probably be the most OP character in the game, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, they separated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, beta has, yeah, beta has like a really low crit rate by base. Mm -hmm. Um, and the idea is that with all your buffs up except your double time stacks, you want to be at eighty percent crit rate, and your double time stacks will carry you up to hundred. Right. Yeah. And ideally, of course, you always have double time up. Is that so? You want is that seventy base crit and then decent sharp eyes and then right. Yeah. And you'll be and over then, on the alpha, but you know that doesn't really matter because you want to have one hundred percent crit on everything. Yeah, it's just sort of the bullet you have to bite. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm... I mean, for all of the other stuff you're gaining. You're crit rate beyond 100%. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then you're just like, eh, I guess I gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, you get like half half efficiency, basically, right? If you have 100 on one and 70 on the other, like your average crit rate is 85. And if you want to get the average to 100, you have to to, to add 15. Uh, or like you have to add 30 in, in both stages, not 15, so... Yeah. What channel are you in, by the way? I don't know. Probably in 18, because that's usually where I log in. Yeah, I'm in 18. Okay. Um, well, you want to show me your fashion story? What's going on? I mean, I don't know. I just like sitting next. I'm in 18. Where are you? I'm in the pit. Oh, there you are. <laughs> How can you miss the hair? Okay. Well, I didn't see the I didn't see the hair. Oh, yeah, it was, was on, on the left the side. Car. No, I was all the way on the left in the spawn location. Yeah, um, I don't know. I just thought it. W I just thought it would be uh, like if you wanted to see the attacks, you could actually see them. Oh yeah, there was you. W was it you? Somebody linked like the the short excerpt of um of Zero, which was like an eighty page <laughs> Google Doc. Yeah. With like all the yeah, pictures. Yeah, the short guide. <laughs> the short guide to Zero. Yeah. Um. It's not very short. A mm -hmm. lot of it's just like listing out the skills, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of pictures in there. Yeah. Um, okay, so for crit, we have to look at that. And, and how far are you with that when it comes to crit? So let me tag over to beta real quick and then see. Um, I am at 63% without DSE. Okay, 
So only seven off. So I'm seven off and then DSD. Yeah. And I'll be good. Okay. So I have to get seven crit somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. You're already getting some from your Legion, right? From your Legion grid? Uh, yeah. I have a little. I have whatever I can get from my Legion grid. So that's six, um, I believe. Yeah. And then next yeah. next tier would be seven. Yes, it would be. So that would immediately get it for me. Um, I wouldn't mind going a little bit over though, because I'm on Phantom Link right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Links is definitely also something to look at. Uh, right. Because yeah, Hyperset is pretty much like where it's at, and then that's that. Um, I haven't seen a zero without ten in crit rate Hyperset, honestly. <laughs> so no, I'm because guessing beta that's alone. just like a, the normal. Yeah. No. That well. Yeah, probably early on it is. Um, Until it, really late. Yeah, because I don't think... Is it like a good idea to get it in your inner ability? Yes. It's a uh, second line. Uh, attack speed one for our first. Yeah, attack speed one, yeah. Or chance to skip cooldown if you want to go pure uh, support, right? If, yeah, if you want to if you want to double down on your support. Yeah. Uh, which I don't plan to do because I plan to still like want to... Yeah. Solo stuff. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want attack speed for that. So 20 crit, any kind of cooldown skip and attack speed, or, you know, attack or a little bit of boss instead of cooldown skip, whichever you can yeah. hit on the third line. <laughs> third okay. line, I mean, I'm probably going to go for Mesa or Item because. Yeah. Uh, I don't like Kana farming. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to farming, I just don't like Kana farming. I mean, might as well just zero farm. <laughs> Zero. Kind of better anyways if you have the totems. Yeah, if you have totem coverage, yeah. It's probably and as good I or better. never use all of my totems. Okay, well ever. then, zero is gonna get you there, I believe. Yeah, I should be fine. Um, so yeah, where is more crit rate? Um, you could end up with a high chunk in your soul. That's what I ended up with my arc. Yeah, right now my soul's boss damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, five percent boss damage from Mag Pink Bean Soul, mm -hmm. okay. which was honestly kind of interesting to get. I was like, it's I was saving, I was saving this Mag Pink Bean Soul that I got all the way back on my Ho Young, and it's just been sitting around. And I was like, yeah, I'll use it because this weapon's gonna stay with me forever. I'm not gonna lose it. So I just threw it on there, and oh, five percent boss damage. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, especially since your boss <laughs> it's damage better is than a getting int or it's magic a, attack yeah and it's a yeah boss damage is a bit low on on alpha right yeah boss we oh, let me see how, how much boss damage i get from full strength stats actually actually i don't get any boss damage from strength stats i just get normal damage yeah it seems like the normal damage goes up by like 33 or something but then the boss damage stays the same 10 I think. I think the other boss damage is coming from somewhere else. Are you gaining 10? I can't remember what my conditions for the buffed stats was. It was 100% uptime buffs. Mm -hmm. Was what I put for that. I didn't put my uh, time holding or the buff from Transcendence or the buff from Chrono Break. Yeah, yeah. You, well, in reality, you would kind of cycle between those, or would you cl yeah, c cycle in mobbing and then cluster in bossing? Yeah. Mob well, mobbing, you don't really... I guess you would... You use that kind of stuff on your loot cycle. Right, yeah, okay. To, um, yeah, to cover while you're getting your 15 million bags off the ground. Yeah, your idea for your loot cycle is... Uh, you place down your Alpha Shadow Flash, the big swords, mm -hmm. these ones yeah, that I just those. put down. <laughs> uh, and then you zip around the map collecting all your bags and you push, press Shadow Flash and return back to where you were. Right, and this one is the... You have one of these in Alpha and in, in Beta, right? Where you just uh, teleport back to the initial location and then big explosion when you do kind of thing. Yeah. They have a drop damage and then explosion damage. Yeah, okay. They last quite a while. <laughs> they last the entire cooldown of the skill. And they do DOT the whole time or just a teleporter? 
No, just when they drop and then when you teleport back. Oh, okay, okay. I wish they did DOT. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of DOT the whole time. That would be lovely. If you feel skill strong then, enough. <laughs> then the idea would be to press them right before cooldown came came back, and then you would uh, get the burst damage and then drop them immediately. Man, yep. that'd be interesting. And you go for to, <laughs> you go to like giant maps too, because you can have whole parts of the map cordoned off with your summons. Yeah, up at Moonbridge and stuff, yep. Moonbridge and Pass, you start to shy away from tornado farming and more so towards, oh, I'm gonna cover this entire map in death kind of farming. <laughs> yeah, the whole uh, just passing by and refreshing summons more thing. Yeah, and you get to use one of the coolest techs in this class, I think, and that's uh, hitbox moving. You get to right. move the hitboxes mm -hmm. of your shadow flashes. Yeah, I saw that in uh, some of the videos where if you like activate it and dash right after, you, you hit a different side than where the actual initial hit was, right? Yeah, if you, uh, like you can do it so it shifts up, down, left or right. Mm -hmm. um, it's easiest to do it to the left or right because then you can use Alpha's flash cut to do it. Right. But uh, the other ones you can use burst step. Yeah, burst step, yeah. Which is also, from what I heard in its own right, ridiculously broken. It is extremely broken. <laughs> you can fly above Lucid Dragon. Yep. You can uh, traverse really large maps in matters of instance. I've heard that um, people use it getting carried in hard will. They just go up and they just stay up until the boss is dead. Yep, that's a shot. You just <laughs> uh, you hold up and spam your burst up button until the, the boss is dead. Yep. <laughs> And nothing can target you because you're like above the uh, above all the damage. Yeah, tornado can't hit you because I mean you're way too above it. Yep. Uh, all the legs don't hit you. The balls can sometimes hit you if you're at the weird angle, but if you stand right above them, they can't. Mhm. Mm it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's. I feel like this class is like designed sort of like in a bubble without the game like in <laughs> without the game like, in mind Ooh, here's this cool concept it's kind of like how the and familiar system the was game, made and it's just like right like how constantly the... breaking all these rules <laughs> yeah like, like how do you, how the initial familiar system was implemented yeah look at oh, this I cool system that. and then like oh wait it doesn't balance out with anything that already exists in the game let's nerf the whole game now <laughs> everyone pissed <laughs> why are you surprised pikachu face why are you mad now I was I was thinking about it the other day and I'm sad because I have pages and pages of epic junior boogies on my whole young mm -hmm. that are all really good. I have like uh I have like thirty percent boss damage and a line of IED on one. Mm -hmm. I just have crazy stuff on. You, oh yeah, you open them all back then, yeah. Yeah. If you hadn't, they would be disproportionately bad now, of course, but you would still be able to level them up and still be able to... Uh... Honestly, though, with Junior Boogies, the problem there is is that you, you're you not going to go and farm Junior Boogies now to, to fuse them, are you? And because you yeah. I guess technically you could, but if you don't want to do that, you're re restricted to using the epics to fuse other epics, and that would feel like a huge waste. I don't know, because with the drop rates now, the Junior Boogies wouldn't really be prime prime material to get up to Unique. Yeah, and that map's kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> for like actually farming them. Yeah. Well, it's not way back easier then. to just go to Fez Two or something. Yeah, exactly. Just unmask them or get Moonbridge and up and just while training get like hundreds, thousands of them maybe. Yeah, I'm, my plan was basically just to, uh, get a fifteen percent ID familiar from Fez Two and then call it a day until I get to Moonbridge. Yeah. Um. Well. Seeing your IED, maybe two of them would be better. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a lot that's to work on. That's something that I've been trying to figure out is how to fix that situation. <laughs> yeah, it's not a... It's not good. No. We do have the 50% debuff, which makes that number kind of a lie, but yeah, even true. then it's not that high. That's an easy uptime, right? The 50%? It's 100% uptime. There's no problem with keeping it up. It's... uh. 20% chance per line of damage dealt as beta. So, mm -hmm. it's nothing. You're constantly using both attacks anyways. Has a 20 second uptime, so. Mhm. Mm and what else? Uh, <laughs> you said it. Uh, no, um, 
And are there any other debuffs, any other like functional IED that we're looking at that you have? Uh, as far as functional ID, no, not really. The only other thing that I'm not accounting for is like getting familiars. Yeah, and then like the, I guess the only thing visual, but I don't know if you have it, is the Explorer Mage link. I don't have that, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit lackluster on Legion, despite my uh well-organized grid. <laughs> yeah, you've got this thing going on, but then. You're one yeah. of those people who really like plans out the stuff that needs to be done, but then when it actually comes to like doing it, <laughs> that's in the thanks to one of my guild members actually. Ah, uh, you're able to... he gave me the base sheet for it, and I planned everything out, and I added the if you scroll all the way to the right, mm -hmm. the link and legion bonuses yep. that it shows, which was thanks to your grid. Right, uh, picked it off of that again. But I just uh, I put it on there for easy reference so I can look and see what needs to be done next. IDK, uh, it's some weird shit. Okay. I, that skill's weird. <laughs> I was I was reading the 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 screenshot and I'm like, what does it even mean? Like it's like you can flip your strength and dex stat. Why would you ever want to do that? Yeah, it's for people who job switch between like Corsair and Buck, for example. Uh, I don't they know. they can weird. use it to. Um, so that their gear switches, so they don't have to remake everything, basically. Because pirates are That's the interesting, only interesting, I guess. Yeah, because the thieves is all luck, and mages is all intellect. Like no one else needs that switch except for pirates, right? Right. So they added as a functionality to the link skill. That's nice, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's I would still have to do a bunch of research to figure out how it works exactly before I would even consider doing it. But um, it's nice Rather that there's than just there's something a new there. Set. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah, the other just, stuff is pretty basic, where it's like just attack, uh, or what is it, just stat, and then kind of unfortunate that it is uh, percentage damage reduction, but only to flat amounts so and not to uh, not to percentage HP. So that's kind of yeah. Useless. It was just really late, and I was just like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna use that link anyway. So yeah, gonna I'm not gonna it down. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like maybe number twelve that you put in on a new character where you don't need like any of the boss utility yet, and you get some stat from it. It maybe comes into point play there, but that's about it. Yeah. Um. Dun, dun. Speaking on links, actually, yeah. I was gonna ask you this because mm -hmm. uh, slightly important to how I planned, how I like have my legion planned out right now. Right mm -hmm. now, it's literally. Uh, just a struggle to get Beast Hammer done at the moment, even though it's Terror Burned. Okay. Uh, gosh, that class is horrid. <laughs> not Everything not about enjoying it, it makes me want to scream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, I, uh, on the last sunny Sunday, I went on it and I uh, coin capped up to 600 on it because I was like, it'll save me from spending some coins on my zero. I don't, so I'll, I'll do it mm -hmm. this one time. And uh, that wasn't fun, and no. it took me way longer than I sh than it should have. <laughs> BT best class. You have some. Uh, BT is not good. <laughs> <laughs> are you using so which form are you mainly using? I'm using cat, or not cat leopard. Okay, I was gonna say if you're cat. using cat, no wonder it's shit. <laughs> no, cat has yeah, like I, nothing. <laughs> I saw that there were like there were like support buffs in cat and i'm like okay what is its main attack thing and then i i like put yeah. a couple points in the main attack and i'm like what the hell am i doing no this is not good it's <laughs> this just not, is not good, good. <laughs> it's bad <laughs> it's really really bad i literally am only putting points in it because cats max out bears max out so i'm putting points in it so that when i get that hyper that yep. lets me yeah, activate exactly. all the mm -hmm. passives it will activate those too the whistle uh whistle thing yeah that's the only reason i'm putting points on it right now mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that it's makes just sense sort of, it's just sort of doing that um but i was going to ask you as far as links go yeah i was we i was in the stream while you were doing your review on kane yeah all the skills mm -hmm. and uh you were saying that his link skill potentially has his ability to replace thief yeah it, well yeah it kind of fills the same niche kind of thing yeah so i was wondering um eventually 
I will probably do what you're doing right now with Project CRA and get everybody up to 210 mm -hmm. and get them at least hopefully CRA ready, but that's so far in the future I can't even like think about it right now. It's a lot, yeah, don't... <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's like I, I took on way too much with that shit, and that's beyond my yeah. the aspiration that everyone looks at me and is like, <laughs> funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, like that's so far beyond even I'm like, uh, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a far planner kind of person. Okay. Um, I was wondering if he thought it was better to, because I'm gonna get Night Lord for crit rate probably. Yeah. If it was better just to do Night Lord and then say fuck it and save the other two thieves for later. Um, uh, so what it kind of depends on is to which extent your character relies on the um, on the crit ones and keeps relying on it into the late game and end game. If you keep relying on crit, then you kind of have to choose which of the damage ones apply best to you, and then the thief and and the cane will kind of like f like fill the same role, and then you just pick whichever one fits best for you. Uh, right. But if you don't need to rely on crit to get to 100%, then you, there could also be a situation where you just use both. I think I have it decently easy because it's not a situation where I'm, where I have to get crit all the way to 100%. Mm -hmm. It's get it to 80 on beta. And even though beta is kind of like lower on the crit end than most characters, it's only... I'm trying to do the math in my head. Yeah, and the, the other thing is also ID familiars, right? Where basically for everyone lose, uses the Lumi and the and the Explorer Mage, but you don't want to have to rely on... Um, you could be in a situation where maybe you don't take the Mage one because you have your built-in IED on yourself and a 50% debuff, and maybe calculation-wise, use the Cane and the Thief instead for more damage. That is possible. Right. I was thinking, I was trying to do the IED calculator for that, um, but I was like, I was debating with myself, it's like, okay, when am I planning for this? Like, what stage in the game am I trying to, mm -hmm. uh, like, make this calculation for? Am I, like, at the point where I'm starting to get IED from boost nodes, or is it before then? Right, yeah, and, uh -huh. I should probably plan before then because I just at first I need the IED to clear CRA. That's right. the big thing. Yeah, because level wise, you're definitely at like you know CRA stuff, but with this IED, you just none of your damage is getting through, so you're you're struggling. That can you even deal damage? Do you just hit ones right now? I can deal damage to three door. Oh right, because of the fifty percent, right? Yeah, because of the debuff. Yeah. Before the debuff activates, you're just hitting I ones. <laughs> I can still do uh, damage before the debuff comes up. It's just very low numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's like tens it's of like thousands and stuff. It's in the millions oh, rather oh, than millions? in okay. the tens of millions. Okay. That's My normal bad. damage numbers on like mobs is like anywhere from like 11 million to 16 million. Mm -hmm. That's with arcane For power life. buff though, right? Yeah, that's... I mean, Fez, I think I hit around 11 con consistently. Okay. So that's without Arcane. Yep. Arcane brings me up to like the 16 million spot. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, I was like... Okay, so we can puzzle with ID um, a little bit. Yeah, that's something that... That's definitely one of the things I wanted to talk about a little bit. Yeah. Oh, as well as the big question of this session that I wanted to get to. Ooh, okay. You want to save <laughs> it for later? Or... <laughs> uh, we can talk about it a little bit, but now it's uh, to deal with weapon. Right, yeah. Uh, so 5, 10, 15 is uh, this weekend. Mm hmm. And I'm saving up money for it right now. Yeah. I estimate that, like, by the time that I. that 5, 10, 15 comes around, I'll be somewhere at, like,. Three and a half bill. Mm -hmm. That's like if everything goes the rate that it's going right now, and maybe even a little bit more because I stopped upgrading my symbols because it's costing me way too many meso. <laughs> yeah, when I'm you're... starting to get like level ten on latch and choo choo, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's getting 
It's getting a little costly. Yep. Yep. I want to start saving uh, that. So I thought, okay, I'll just save my upgrades until it goes to... Until 5, 10, 15 passes and I can spend my money a little bit more freely. Mm-hmm. If you lose um, <laughs> last level is 200 per level, yeah. If you um, if you blow up your weapon, does it go down to 12 or go back down to zero? 12. 12, okay. <laughs> to zero. Oh. Um, okay, so... All right, so it's not too bad. Um, my my goal for my weapon is probably a little bit lower than other zeros mm -hmm. because I've hit this point where like I think I if I get a little bit more IED, I think I could do CRA if my weapon was my one seventy version, even at fifteen star. Mm -hmm. I think I could do it if I get the little bit IED that I need. Maybe partner up with one other person in my guild who's literally at the same place as me. Mm -hmm. And then upgrade my weapon to 170. But I don't want to do that because it's going to cost more money. Yeah. Yeah, the main thing is determining what is the, the sweet spot to, to go to, right? Right. I really want at least 20 star. Mm-hmm really really desperately want it but it's like i'm gambling at that point yeah, i don't have the money are. to assure that no i don't think so no oh i'm moving like i have like maybe i'll probably have around the average and that's if i have average luck yeah um and my plan was um get as high as i can hopefully 20 star and then just upgrade it to the 170 version because now it's, is it now 140 or 130 it's 140 and if you look at the stats on the 140 version it's really bad uh-huh it's not no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not good enough. yeah that's a little rough huh <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you do want to get the the what is it, the essence, right? To level it up, to get it to a higher set bonus? No, not set bonus. Well, right? one seventy base stats. The one seventy one you can just get to. I could do it right now. I could do it right in front of you. Mm -hmm. I just have to go into my little UI and press the buttons, and that goes. That counts as a one seventy. Yeah, it goes all up to uh, level one seventy. And then, um, it's okay. the Fafnir basically. We get Fafnir for free, essentially. All right, okay. But well, you get that at 170 because you start at higher level. So then, mm -hmm. what is Abzo counts as 180, and then Arcana counts as 200, or? Yeah. Mm, okay. Abzo's 180. We have to get the essence for that. Mm -hmm. Ab Arcane as well. So you need um, the you need the essence for that. Yeah, you need the essence for Abzo and Arcane. So that's from the shops. Right, and that's why you don't get it early, because then if you blow up, you have to reuse the the essence. Yeah, it can drop as a bo as a boss drop, but it, I mean... Yeah, only the hard bosses, then, right? Yeah. Then you're still <laughs> waiting. Yep. Okay. I don't have Lucky Hat, because I haven't done CRA yet. Mm -hmm. It's I'm quite a requirement. Waiting. So the wait, So the meme goal is like, well, like 21 or 22 weapon with... Um, Arcane stats, CRA set bonus, and then a lucky hat. That's the that's the ideal until Genesis. Until Gen, yeah. Um, lucky hat, CRA set bonus on the arcane sword. Uh, Kate. Oh, yeah, Glove and then for and then for Abzo, yeah. Shoulder, yeah. Abzo. Okay, go for her. Arcane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you can use it Abzo first, and then Arcane later. Yep. Yeah. And then it just keeps the five set. For yep. both. Yep, exactly. The hat will will fill that up. Yep. Hmm. And then when you get Genesis, it's replace the lucky hat for CRA hat. And then your weapon counts as both CRA weapon set bonus and then arcane weapon set bonus. Because Genesis weapon's a lucky item. Yep, exactly. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, so you want to aim for 20. Um, this one's looking more like 5 to 7, Bill. I don't know if you Yeah, have I'd have to get... Uh, I'd have to get a little bit lucky. With like full star catching, it's still 4 to 6. Yeah, that's uh, mm -hmm. that's the scary thing for me right now. Yeah, I it's mean like, it is the technically I can still do it, but yeah. I mean it's the ideal time to go for it. But it's it's one of those things. It's like, man, if I don't get it, I'm gonna be really sad because it means spending a lot more in the future. Yeah. And if you get it but to the also, Fafnir one and you blow it up, it stays the Fafnir one, and then it's mm -hmm. just way more expensive to upgrade, but you could still do the same thing. It's not way more expensive, it's just yeah. significantly. Yeah. Um Wait, so it counts as one seventy for like the calculations? It actually counts as uh um one sixty. One fifty, one sixty, and one seventy all share the same money costs but it counts as the 160 version okay as far as i know that's what i read uh in maple central i was talking to some people about it so it counts as as like regular abs of star forcer or it might be the 150 one i'm not sure i mean if it is uh, a fucking item it would kind of make sense that it would count as the 150 yeah i'm not 100 percent sure like what the entire situation is on that Mm. Um, but I just know it costs significant, like a significant amount. Like star forcing Pencilier versus star forcing uh, a, a Fafnir weapon is a difference. Still, like it's not that much, but I mean you're still using a lot more Mesa. Mm -hmm. A couple bill at least. Yeah, it's a tricky situation because um, yeah, you really want to prioritize your weapon above all here. And they go way harder than all the other stuff. But if three, yeah, if three and a half is all is, is like, if that's the best you can do, um, <laughs> if if that's all you have access to, then um, that's including like Mezzo Tour Market coming in, Ursus, all that stuff. Yeah, that's accounting, doing Ursus every day, Mezzo Tour uh, coming in uh, after reset. I think is when mm -hmm. mine comes in. Mm -hmm. Any um, um, any other uh, like mezzo bags you can purchase, twisted times you can sell, stuff like that. I do have some stuff like that that I can sell. Um, I have um, just about seven k uh, spell traces. Um, I have a fat sack of boss crystals that are waiting for reset. Mm -hmm. Um, because I boss so much on this character, I hit my cap every week. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I have some Crusader coins I can buy Meso bags with. Um, because your Ho Young could you could like train on the Ho Young and make some money there, right? I could. Uh, because my Ho Young is... doesn't have any sort of Meso gear though. Hmm. Okay. Neither does my Don Warrior. Hmm. I think my Don Warrior might have one or two lines of Meso actually. But rates on my Dawn Warrior aren't that good. Yeah, so that would... Yeah. I don't one-shot at the maps that I would want to train at. So it'd be mainly just training harder on the Zero? My Zero, probably, even though my Ho-Young is significantly stronger, and so is my Dawn Warrior, would probably make better rates. Yeah. Just because it's a better mobbing class. Yeah. So depending on... Yeah, so if you want to make a bunch of extra money, it just mean that you have to train a bunch on your Zero in the, in the upcoming week to... Expand your yeah. funds. And I don't, I mean... I mean, it's uh, a week, it's like four more, three more days. <laughs> right. I... It's on Sunday, so... Yeah. So t um, four, four days in a bit. I can't train tomorrow. I go to work way too early. Mm -hmm. um, I can't train today. Uh, Friday and Saturday I can. And then if I do like a couple training sessions before I Star Force, then mm -hmm. I can do it on Sunday. And I make like, let's see, I did a training session uh, yesterday. I My BA only lasted one hour for some reason. I think it closed on me. But I think in an yeah. hour with Totem, 
Legion Meso coupon, and I have a, uh, I think that's actually an item drop familiar. Hold on. Yeah, it does a, uh, I, th I think it caps, bonus. I think it caps out as, as a, at an hour for the BAs. Um, oh no, small Mesa drop on familiar. Hmm. I have that as well. Hold a little um, bit of help. Yeah, a little bit. I got a little bit of luck from my first two sessions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not very much. No, um, not very much, no. <clears throat> I have opened probably about 300 familiars. And I still haven't gotten a single line of IED. That was the best line that I got that entire time. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm not very lucky. <laughs> I'm hoping that all that stored luck will come come back to me in the Star Forcing session. Yeah, you're kind of banking <laughs> on that with this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of like riding the line a little. Mm -hmm. Um, I can maybe stretch it to four bill. Yeah. If like I go a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Um. But it's it's a little spooky. A little spook. Wait, 15. It's just a little. Um, I don't have to worry about totems because I have like 7,000 reward points mm -hmm. sitting there waiting. So I can do all those training sessions. It's just about actually doing it. it seems like um, you're just like doubling the cost for every star pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's a little rough. Um, 400 for 17, 1.4 for 18, and then almost four for 19 and then almost eight for 20. I was, I'm like, yeah, I mean, I want to be closer to the median. Of course, it's not as insane, but you look at the average for like a worst case scenario type thing. So I, yeah, hopefully you get to 19. You just need to get lucky one time, you know, get that 19 to 20 to work. Yeah. And then it's just getting that one thing. <laughs> The thing is, is like, I'm holding myself back right now. Yeah. By not upgrading my weapon. Yeah, exactly. Like, everything I is being held at, hostage I for. I looked at a 15 star <laughs> Type 7, and I gain nearly half my current range just by upgrading. Mm hmm. It's like, a, like, and that was with a lower potential than my weapon has. Mm hmm. And it's like, it feels so bad because I know I could probably be one-shotting my math right now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost one-shot. I'm so close. I'm and so very close And make way better rates. And, yeah. and it's just like, it hurts because I know that this is like the efficient way to do it. But my brain's like, <laughs> just get, get the gain. Get the gain. Yeah, there could be something to be said to just get it to 17 at type 7 and hold it there until you make like a fuck ton of money. And then and then remake it there, right? Right, because I am doing uh, solo slash struggle progression mm -hmm. on this character. That's, I mean, I've been doing that since my whole young. I might as well keep doing it. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I mean, Abso is like not too far in the future, but it's in the future. Yep. It's like a little bit away. I mean, I'd have to start killing normal Damien and normal Lotus for that. Yeah, the and then the ID is definitely necessary there. Right. So there's like, this is the question. This is like, this is all boiling down to one question, and it's should I actually use this five ten fifteen on my weapon, and. Mm -hmm. just hope for the luck to win out and get me 20 star and then upgrade it to 170 or do I spend like I think it's one and a half bill and get all the droplets out of the store um oh droplets in the store yeah that's another thing yeah that's like that's like because I'm like thinking out I'm like I'm sitting here and I'm like okay what else am I gonna use this money on other than my weapon yeah and I'm like the big thing's kind of like the super long-term thing, and that's the droplets that are yeah. taunting me every time that I look in that store. That's to buy the essence to make it 
an arcane weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah. And technically, you can skip Absa weapon. Yeah. You can just apply the arcane to it. I mean, you can skip Abzo and Fafnir, right? You can go yeah, for Yeah, I could apply it. If I had to... an Arcane Essence, I could play it right now. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I'm not going to do that because... <laughs> Yikes. What do, and what do most people do before they get the Arcane Essence? They get the... They, they, they either get keep it t five or six and then get it straight up or just do... Or do the Abzo? Usually, you make your character... Wait for the next 5, 10, 15, get it to 22 stars, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, upgrade all the all the way up to type 7, kill Lotus Damien, get your Abso, and then get your, get your Arcana. Yeah. yeah. Unless That's you get like carried idea. quickly, then you go straight for the Essence, you kind of skip Abso, basically. Yeah. Unless you, yeah, you yeah. already have, you have like a carry for lucid mm -hmm. and you have droplets stored up from other characters and then i guess you could just yep. uh 22 star at 140 get carried the 12 weeks for the droplets for droplets yep. your weapon. Mm -hmm. yeah the shops are supposed to be until the 31st the first um the first patch notes set until the 26th and then later ones set to the 31st it's supposed to be the 31st uh, that's what the in-game um, event stuff also says. That means that I, if I did get lucky, I could just farm up the Meso again. Yeah, I, that I would give you two more weeks. I think it's one and a half build to buy both. Uh, two, two, and two and a half, two and a half per per stack. So like five total if you want to oh. buy all of them. Oh god, that's a lot of money. Yes, yeah, fifty stacks, fifty mil each. I wouldn't even buy be able to buy the full stack for like another couple weeks. No. Even if I didn't Star Force. Um, you couldn't like if you do Maple Tour and Ursus, that's around one bill a week. I don't do seven. No, no. If you do, of... if you do, if you do two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I do two and then Ursus, seven days a week. Yeah, yeah, if you do seven runs, then it's around two bill a week in total. But if you do, yeah, one bill a week, yeah. So then it's about two. So with some training, some boss crystals, that should be enough for one stack. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's already quite a kind of a tight squeeze if you spend all your money yeah this is this is the, the yeah, thing that is, i roped myself into yeah yeah this <laughs> is the the tricky the tricky thing um yeah you are holding yourself back a lot now like i'm i'm so sure that if i just get the tiny bit of ied i need and i get ied from getting my weapon up to up to 170. It gives you ID since it's technically a Fafnir weapon. Mm -hmm. It gives well, you like 10%. Yeah, that's 10%, right? Yeah. And 30 boss damage. Yeah, and 30 boss. That's, yeah, that's going to be a huge one. I can, yeah, I can, I can farm right now, but it's, the rates are pretty crap. Yeah, crappy rates, yeah. And how much, so we need to kind of know what level, what item it counts as. So when you, if you would go up to the Fafnir one, it says level 170. Yeah, but I know that everywhere past 140 it counts as one. It's all the same rates, but I don't know what Until level Abzo? that is. Uh, it's, uh, it's the same like Meso cost for Star Forcing. Uh, like from 150 to 170. I know it's all the same, but I don't know what level it is that it actually counts as. Uh, let's see if they have it here. For zero weapons, so price is capped at equip level 150. Yeah, so then it would be... 150 at level 170. Okay, 150. So it's like starting a Fafnir, yeah. Basically, okay. Which is, I mean, what most people end up doing anyway, right? So you're not... Um, it's not like I'm... Yeah, I'm, you're uh, worse I'm off than hurting other people. myself. Yeah. It's just I have a chance to be to get a little bit exactly, easier exactly. of a time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not too bad of a situation if I have yeah. to. And you don't have I to safeguard, so it. it's already a. You don't have to, quote unquote, safeguard. Uh, yeah, because I still have the time up till now till getting 
abso to finish it off basically mm -hmm. without having to worry about regaining another essence and then if i get another essence then i can you know be a little risque and try and get yeah. 22. yeah exactly it's such a big jump from 19 to 20 star Yes. I mean, it's such a big jump from like something like 17 to 18 already. You're just doing I five times. I can get times. 17 right now. It's like not a problem. No. I don't know. It's yeah, just I mean, like... you get at least 18 is like 100% guaranteed. 19 is that's already like at the edge, and then 20 is like getting lucky. So like aiming for 20 it just feels. It's a little, a little uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, it does feel scary. But when you're at you... 19, you're sitting there at 19, and you have, you know, yeah, if you, yeah, you still well, that's have the thing. a bill and a half to spend, and you're just sitting yeah. there, and you're looking, it's like, I just need one. You just need one, yeah. Honestly, <sighs> yeah, it, it does make sense to try that, because even if you do fail, and it goes back down to 12, um, worst case scenario is you... I can use the 7, worst case scenario, if it goes back down to 12, I can keep it at 12 for a little bit, and use the 17. Yeah. Exactly, you have that scroll. Use the 17 scroll. And then you just 17 and upgrade it to Fafnir and just hold that. Or yeah. Or or not even get it to Fafnir. Whatever you want to do there. I would get it to Fafnir. I can't I can't stand yeah. this just, stupid 140 weapon anymore. Yeah. No, no, yeah. That, that would probably be my advice, so yeah. I mean, it's up to you, but yeah. I would I would then 17 start up to Fafnir and just hold that. And then just save up money for like another 15, 15. Or, well, you'd gradually start working on upgrading everything else, right? And then that would right, just become would like your CRA. Right. And then after Lotus, Damien, that kind of stuff, you can probably still do that with the same weapon. Then you can try to push it for 20 or 21 when you have like a fuck ton of money and you really, really want to heavily invest and you're really dedicated to the zero for long term. And then you just mm -hmm. cycle back. And then uh, since it does cap at 150 uh, cost, it shouldn't be too much extra. Yeah. I found something interesting, actually. Um, I'll have to, I have to look through my guild's mm -hmm. discord to find the actual picture, but we were, we were talking about goals and I think this is because you usually ask about goals and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and I have like two different goals. I have two different kinds of goals. I have like the stupid little short term ones that like take a couple weeks to a month to get. Yeah. And then I have the. Okay, that's like super far away, mm -hmm. but I want to. Yeah. And you could probably guess what I'm already saying is the super far away, but I want to one is. Is it like Black Mage? <laughs> Genesis weapon. Genesis yes. weapon? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is I want to get the, I want to see the Type 10. Mm -hmm. I want to have it in my hands and look at it. <laughs> that's, that's the super far away mega goal. That mm -hmm. I know is nowhere near and it's going to take years to get to. Mm -hmm. And Black Mage is probably going to be probably a little bit irrelevant by the time I get to it kind of goal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's still going to be relevant, but not as much of an obstacle. Uh, hopefully. Right. <laughs> That's like the kind of thing that I'm okay with acknowledging. But it's still something that I you know, want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but my short-term goal is... You know, right now, clearing CRA. Yep. And then it goes on to Lotus Damien and then Lucid. Normal Lucid, then Normal Will, and then Hard. Yep. You know, that yeah, yeah, track. just the regular uh, regular progression on those. I, I will send you a screenshot that I took that I thought was a little bit funny. <laughs> uh, we were talking about goals, and one, one of my guildmates' goals was... A, an achievement actually in game and Ooh. it was i like that where this is going they're a mercedes mm -hmm. oh that one <laughs> like so you... it's deal the most damage to lucid yeah in as, the entire run as a mercedes yeah and here's a, here's the zeros one you have to do like the last hit on the black mage or something isn't it deal the most damage with the zero character and land the final hit in defeating the black mage yeah <laughs> which is 100% impossible, because Zero is one of the lowest DPS characters in the game. <laughs> <laughs> they come up with some but, interesting shit for achievements, for sure. I mean, it's thematic. 
Hell yeah. Uh, there should have been an achievement for, for Shade to win. die out right before the end of the Black Mage and have your party clear and you die out. That should be that should have been an achievement. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to go with a six-man zero party and just roll the <laughs> dice on who gets it this time. <laughs> oh, yeah, six-man zero, yeah. Um, Free for all. Or until zero, until Black Mage suddenly becomes soloable in the reboot. I mean, get some uh, get some bishops in there. Their DPS are probably a little bit get a lower. Of bishops in there. <laughs> <laughs> the I mean, Khan was out DPS us. Yeah, yeah. It's rough. I mean, ever, it actually ever out ever DPS is quite a lot of people, which is kind of depressing for the overall balance of this game. But. Yeah. Yeah. So in for twenty and for yeah. Oh, yeah. There's I think there's one for Phantom as well to do some weird shit. Uh, but yeah, I th yeah. Just yeah, just aim for twenty forehead. I mean. Um, ho hopefully you run out of money when you're at 19 or you're like you get close to running out of mon m money at 19 and you can just save that and then you can have a 19 for a while um, yeah and, and I'm, if not, it booms. I'm not so stupid as to see that i'm low on money and try and gamble for 20. <laughs> one more if i was one low more. on money on t at 19 i'd be like okay i'm yeah. done yeah but how low is low though <laughs> like i'd say what are, what is the cost for the 19 to 20 roll uh, at 150? 140. Uh, I mean, it's like. Oh, yeah, the 140 cost now, yeah. It's like, uh, what is it? It's probably. Is 81 mil? Does that make sense? 81 mil? Then, I mean, I guess, like, low money would be like 300 mil left. Mm hmm. Like you know, five or so rolls maybe. At it, then I'd just be like, oh, I'm not even gonna try. Because I mean, if you fail, then you go down, and then you're struggling to get back up. Mm-hmm. Damn, one guy boomed 19 times on his way. Yikes! <laughs> For that last. <laughs> that star. guy is mad. <laughs> 36 bill. Pissed. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be pissed too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Not a good time. <laughs> yeah, I would be 35 bill <laughs> to get from 19 to 20. Gosh. Well, it better be worth that upgrade. Yeah. I don't know. It's like... It's it's just... Yeah, I'm scared about it. I'm yeah. dreading Sunday a little bit. Well, you should be. Because uh, it's high risk, so... Yeah. Set your boundaries high risk, beforehand. but potentially super high reward for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of upgrade makes CRA kind of a breeze. Yeah. If you get the IAD. Yeah, exactly. If you can get to 19 and you... Um, yeah. If you can get to 19 and you don't uh, see all that much money left. If you get it very early on, keep trying. But if you get it like second... Near the end. Then yeah, just, like second half or like well, last quarter of your money, then I would... Yeah, you know, start cutting my losses and be like, okay, this is good. This is gr great. You know, who runs around at 220 with a 19 star weapon? Only right. zeros who, who's like fourth or fifth character it is, right? Um, right. And then, um, yeah, go from there. It's a. Uh, I mean, the the reason why it's such like a big thing is because it's upgrading your weapon as a zero. If you've already put some money into it, is such a big upgrade each time. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it upgrades your Star Force gains, it upgrades your flame. It's like you're getting such a big chunk each time that each level that you go up. Yep, and it doubles, right? Because it's also your secondary weapon. Yeah, and then you're also, I mean, you're getting two for one. Mm -hmm. yep. It's uh, zero is low damage, but I mean, it's they get gains pretty easy if they still have to work on their weapon. Yep. Does anyone go for IED? You probably go for IED on your emblem temporarily, right? As, uh, we had a long discussion in the Maple Central Discord about WSE optimization. Mm -hmm. And um, they basically, we basically came to the conclusion that um, at most you only want one line of IED and the rest of your lines are attack. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Because the problem with boss damage is you can't just get one line of boss damage as a zero. Yeah, you immediately get two. Yeah. You immediately get two. And if you get two lines on one potential, then you immediately get four. Yeah. And you're just... It's it's like such a situation. It's like you can get boss damage elsewhere. You can get it from Legion. You can get it from Lynx. That it's sort of the thing like... You're sacrificing so much attack mm -hmm. for it that... Unless yeah. it's... That makes sense. It's like just unlikely that you want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, or you're, you're, I mean, you probably end up with it on, on the right. way to full attack anyway. Because, you know, Plus, you have more outs. We so. get 30% more boss damage than anyone else would get from gear. Because Lucky Hat. Mm -hmm. Lucky Hat's a free 30% boss. Yep. We're not sacrificing any, um, any, like, when we're changing our I mean, gears, we don't sacrifice any, uh, yeah, uh, any set, any set bonus? Set. Yeah. I mean, you say that, but some classes have, like, at this point, have, like, 100% more boss just because of their kit already, right? That is true. That is, like, just from gear. Yeah, equip-wise. Yeah. No, no, that makes sense. Um, Which is, I mean... I think someone... Uh, someone in... Who's from Rug Server? Who was counting? Who was only like trying to help us our uh, the reboot zeros? Who was like looking at uh, their gear and was trying to count only the reboots, the stuff that you could get in reboot. Right. They are like, yeah, it's like if you get a line of boss damage, it's not the end of the world, but ideally you don't want it. Yeah, in non reboot, you definitely get one line. Yeah, in non reboot, they are like. They're like considering it's a lot to, easier for yeah. it's a lot better for us to get one line because we don't have the damage yeah. bonus from the reboot skill. I mean, I think the odds are still high that you end up with like twelve nine and then thirty boss or something that you'll probably end up with that when it's so close to what would be the min max best that you hang hang on to that for super long anyway. Yeah, until you're, you know. Yeah, end game. Even at maximum. black mage kind of levels, I don't think you're going to really. Yeah, that's probably Unless still close enough. <laughs> There's so much, much money. It's like you're so close and you're kind of a supporty class already. It's like yeah. the damage difference that you're making in the team perspective is so low that it's... Mm -hmm. I think at that point people reroll their inner ability for more um, cooldown skip to, to support Black Mage better. Yeah, at that point it's like... Is there, um, well, that's if only phase one, struggling, right? If you're struggling, then that's what you do. Yeah, but, you, well, you mainly would do it for more binds, but you can't bind anything Black Mage past the, um, past the first phase, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that, it really Then our, much. our party buffs come down to our aura. Yep. And our Debuffs. little field that we put down. Yeah, the field, yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, is big. It's 25% damage. Yeah, so pretty good, yeah. And the the debuff, and a the fifty rank of ID. speed to whoever yeah. needs it. Oh yeah, to like that one cannoneer in the party. <laughs> the cannoneer that's over in the corner. Hi, thank <laughs> yeah. you. You gotta put it like in the corner for him so that he can like have his own little area <laughs> of, of attack corner. speed. Yeah. <laughs> his private He's island. Of... <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Well, you want it on top of the boss so the debuff hits him. Yeah, so the cannoneer has to be close as well. Get on top there. <laughs> Poor cannoneer. <laughs> Wait, so does this mean that your soul buff doubles? Yeah. I get two instances of 5%. Hmm. And for ID, it probably still counts as two separate instances of ID? I would assume. So does this mean if you because end up Because that's how it works for potential line, at least. Yeah. So wait, so that would it's... mean that if you get hit up, it get hit up with like a 12% crit line, that you get 24% crit out of that. Yeah. Which would be massive. It would be pretty big. Has that been discussed um, in the? In we the haven't Discord? actually. I don't. I. I. I hop in and out. I'm not constantly mm -hmm. hanging around there. But as far as I've seen, that hasn't really been talked about that much. A lot at... of it's a lot of it's the super beginner questions that people yeah. have since all the reboot zeros are. Yeah, just like, getting oh, in there and like what? <laughs> what's going <laughs> like, on? Like, how do I? Weapons. How do I zero? Yeah, how do I weapon? Yeah, exactly. Because you end up. And most of the time, we just point them towards the guide, and we're like, yeah. Yeah, "It's pretty much all in there. You just gotta find it." Yeah, just control F, baby. 
control F. Because you're looking at 6% um, attack, 14% boss, two lines of 7 ID, or 24% crit. Because when you think about it, you know, if you need crit, if you're getting some crit from your Legion, it's one to one with boss damage. Right, that is true. But you're getting 24 versus versus 14 on your soul for the same value there. So then you'd want to get point, that you switch. Start taking some points out of yeah, and put it, taking that, everything out yeah. of crit and putting it all into boss damage and make, filling that one out. But mm -hmm. if you get to 8k Legion and you're already filling those out anyway, and the other leftovers can go into crit, then it makes more sense to get uh, percentage attack again because you're probably going to end up with two lines of attack and one line of boss on your weapon. But if you end up with three lines of attack on your weapon, then you might want to get boss damage on your soul. I think. Yeah, it's sort of that thing. It's like it depends on what you roll and whether or not you want to keep it. Yeah. And you're just sort of like, Aah. yeah, just like a min maxi thing after you settle your weapon, I guess. Right. I mean, potential is something that I could just work on if 5, 10, 15 wasn't looming over me like uh, Doomsday, I uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would probably be working on potential right now because that's something that lasts forever for me. Yeah. Never. And it's something that I would probably be cubing for. Mm -hmm. you get, yeah, you get a lot of mileage out of that because you don't have... You have more you junk lines it. on secondaries than on weapons, right? Uh, or do you not? Yeah, because secondary can get like chance to um, ignore kind of, almost like the emblem the emblem has those really weird junk lines yeah like the chance to freeze <laughs> yeah. oh that's god kind of stuff why do these stuff. exist yeah um i tried to cube that away from my emblem but i literally got nearly the same thing back yeah well what are you gonna I do i got so what it's freeze and seal there right now now i have recovered 28 hp and stun Oh, and six nice. percent attack. Great, up <laughs> great upgrade. <laughs> so I just swapped the second and third lines a little bit. Yep. Hmm. Um, I was trying to get it to unique. Yeah. Get a little bit more attack out, but I mean, it wasn't really cooperating with me much. Wasn't budging. Now, yeah, you want to save your money for now on the um. Yeah, I was just getting weapon. with the Meister cubes that I got from Wonkies. Yep. Wait. So does. Does the star forcing like do we have the plan now? Yeah, I think that's the plan. And you save all of it for that hard commit to that, and then everything else comes after that, right? That's basically it. Um, I I am work I am running with necro gear now. Mm -hmm. Black race. Um, I am running necro gear now, and I have uh, what it's forty five to seventy five that you recommended for a uh, flame score, right? Um, uh, for the whole on, stage? On uh, flame advantage items. Yeah, each. Uh, so for you, like 40 to 75, yeah, closer to the... Well, yeah, it's Necro Gear, so you don't want to go too fucking crazy because it's going to get replaced almost immediately by a bunch of other stuff, right? Right. So um, usually I, I aim for like low fifties or something. I get at it. Yeah, like high forties, low fifties or something is usually what I aim for. If you get I'm definitely up. at that rank now. Yeah. My glove is sixty-two. My overalls fifty-two. My boots fifty-seven. My hat is thirty-five plus four all stat all stats around mm -hmm. seven. Seven times four is uh, yeah. fourteen plus twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus thirty-five. It's sixty something. Yeah. Quick maths. We got the arithmetic down. Yeah, sixty. <laughs> yeah, it's like sixty-five, sixty, eighty, or something. Yeah. I work. I work in uh, at Starbucks, so I have to do quick math a lot. Oh yeah. Okay. I I work register a lot, so. You got to yell out I, weird names and shit. Yeah, that too. It's definitely. So I've never done this frag race before. I've never like switched shoes when I'm already in there before. Oh my god, the portal's not doing it. There we go. I got super slow portal. There we go. Uh, but it makes... Ooh, almost throw. Um, but it would make sense to just keep those flames. Those are good enough. Um, and then combined with the current... Uh, the current other stuff you have, the set bonuses are there. The main thing you're looking for is your Legion and Links to kind of pick up the slack when it comes to the IED. I think your hyperstats are properly distributed. 
So that's fine. Yeah. I was like, I was trying to figure out like wow, what exactly I do for hypersets. I have some hypersets that I can take away from arcane power right now. Yeah, that's uh, the only one I wanted to check because it's like way down there, so I can see it. Um, I think I have like five arcane power points. Mhm. Mm um. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, but I don't I do. need it right now. It's just stuff that was like when I was first getting the latch, and I needed it uh to Bro. do free quests but i had um 50 symbol selector coupons when i got my latch symbol so i uh immediately poured it into there mm -hmm. and my latch is the same level as my choo choo now which is interesting yeah. oh yeah because of all the events and the yeah just majorly catch as it catches up yeah um bamboo shoots have been going uh Almost exclusively to. Yeah. Um, That's nine a day extra. To latch. Yep. Um, there was a little bit of a gap because of the time waiting for the new scroll. Mm hmm. So you can't get bamboo shoots during that time. Yep. Mm hmm. But, uh, I mean, it's still leveling pretty quickly. And I would get three per scroll, right, for the next five times. So that's 15. Yep. So then it's 15. Yeah, still five more days, so that's still 45 more symbols. Mm -hmm. So you're saving up a Which... whole bunch of symbols in your inventory now? Well, I mean, I still have a little bit left to go to hit cap on latch. Mm -hmm. It's Choo Choo now that I'm now saving up on, which is filling my inventory rather quickly. You know how to save them up to, up to 12 per slot? Is it that you take the big one out? the the big one out you put one of the small ones in and then you fill that up with symbols yep exactly okay i have never done that before but i figured that was how they you, how you did it mm -hmm. yep and then you can you know basically stack 12 per slot instead of one so that saves you quite a lot of room for longer periods right. of time if you're like a week or more for some people several weeks like hoarding up uh hoarding up symbols it's gotta fill it up quite nicely so yeah, I mean, I did a inventory clean earlier today, and because uh -huh. I was doing my BJ dailies, and I'm like, I'm sort of like quickly going through it because my brain's distracted by something, and I'm like, why am I not getting my symbols? And then the lady's just telling me, please clear your inventory. <laughs> yeah. Like I could have like, sworn sorry, I sorry. clicked you already. <laughs> it's like yes, you did, <laughs> like, but I thought you... I already, I thought I already claimed my my ones. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the big thing, I guess, right now is, like, trying to figure out, like, what's the quickest way I can get IED? Um, yeah, uh, well, let's see, you don't have the Lumi link, so that's probably number I one have on it. the list. I just have to put it in. You have to put it in, okay. I have, to, I have to find, I mean, when I would boss, I would take out, uh, Elven Blessing, Bravado, and Rune Persistence. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one is the familiars, right? Having at least yep. two familiars, do you have any badge unlock for the second slot? I don't, but is, can't you just do the, uh... Um, they're super, yeah, super easy ones. Oppressor the, badge. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the one that people do. <laughs> it sounds very impressive, but I think it's just the three little dudes in Edelstein, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the... <laughs> the potted the plant the and left. the glass bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. easy to... Yeah, two ID ones there, that's already going to make a huge difference. Um... You don't want to put anything in Legion yet because it's like not big enough of a chunk to be uh, an effect. Yeah, it would just make it weird. I, I do have a question though. Mm -hmm. So I am a little bit uninformed about familiars because um, when I left, yeah, like I came back right before the familiar revamp, like maybe a month before the familiar revamp. Familiars came out. Mm -hmm. you uh, did, on your Hoyong? For a couple days. Mm -hmm. And then went away again. Oh, yeah. And then I left while they were still gone. Yeah. So I don't know, like, I know a little bit about, like, yeah, so compared to them. compared to their initial release, so nothing drops yeah. above rare anymore. Rare is the highest that drops. Mm -hmm. That's important. Um, the drop rates themselves are, like, astronomically lower than... The last thing you did back then. Yeah, um, I remember. 
so if you wanna, if you ever wanna rank up, that's something that you worry about if you're actually specifically farming for familiars or if you're training in the areas where they drop. Other than that, you just mass reveal. You try to get anything useful, which is like um, item drop rate or, it, like in order of importance, like lowest would be like um, small self heal and meso drop uh, line. Um, anything better than that would be an item plus meso drop line or item drop line and something more significant in healing or maybe party healing. And then something uh, better than that would be like ID line. And then um, that's probably the best thing you can get out of... I think the very best thing you can get out of rare would be increases item drop rate full stop. Like that would be the most valuable um, rare card that you can get. I see. Um, and other then than the rest that, is like doing tear ups and stuff. Yeah, so the rest you can because you probably get a bunch of different types of familiars. The rest you could just extract, and with the points you can buy booster packs. Maybe you can get like a Hail Mary card that's really hard from a different badge set, and that will help you complete a badge. Or there's also a small chance to get epics, which have a lot of the cooler stuff, uh, familiar wise in it, uh, potential wise in it. Right. And once you start um, getting a lot of the same type, that's when you can start leveling them up. So then you have to. Uh, you have to be both fuse them to max fusion and then also level them up by equipping them and killing monsters near your level. And then if they're max fused and max leveled, then you can try to tier them up. Yeah. And it's just your and one I mean, reveal and then... The tier up thing is sort of something that you worry about once you're at Moonbridge, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Some people will, like, hardcore farm at FES 2 or something, but um, that just slows you down. I think like it's better... wasting my time. Yeah, I think it's better to just push your way to Moonbridge and above, and then just because there, if if you get decent clearing rates there, and I assume that you will get that with zero, you're looking yeah. at like four hundred or something familiars per totem. Mm -hmm. So you'll have we do go more than to enough. Moonbridge a little late. Mm -hmm. uh, cause Celis, right? Especially with Celis now, because Final Edge of Light Four mm -hmm. um, is our new best map. Like, people were doing rate tests on it, and it's better than, uh... uh Labyrinthine Cavern. L Cup. Yeah, L Cup, yeah. Um, which is impressive, because L Cup was the best map in was, the game. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect, basically. Uh, for zeros, and thus got zeros the best clear rate in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but Final Edge of Light 4 is technically better, as long as you one-shot with your electricity. Electricity, um, is it the... higher, uh has higher exp rates at least oh okay oh right, right i don't think it has higher kill rates because the mob exp difference but it the exp difference is big enough that yeah the people move over right and you don't have to yeah. fight with the six thousand kanas in l cup so yeah that are trying to steal <laughs> the map from you it's not a good map for really anyone else like it's an okay map it's just sort of the zero map yeah, I mean, as a it's DA, like, it was pretty easy. You just zoom around and you have a bunch of stuff flying around that kills. But it's yeah. the easiest map to make bots for, so that's where all the Kanas are. Right, because it's just two flat panels. Yep. And for, if you uh, use Exorcist Charm on top, it actually has some monsters on the bottom too, which is kind of silly. For FEL4, it's like... It's... um, It's like that weird like triangle kind of map, where it has like one layer on the bottom, and then it's like three platforms that go from high, medium, to low. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, um... Um... Golf, golden that Forest? in Vanishing Journey. Oh, wait, uh, uh... Vanishing Journey. The Blaze Wizard? The, the, bla the Blaze no, Wizard. The, the, the Fire? Uh, it's in Cave of Tranquility. Uh, Below the Cave. Oh, it's kind of like below right? the cave, but oh, higher monsters spawn and smaller. Like that, okay. And then if you go to the highest, the the tornadoes kind of just like fall from the higher platform to the lower one? Yeah, that's the sort of situation is that you teleport from the bottom layer to the highest platform and you spam tornadoes. Yeah. Back and forth. Yeah, that seems like the general thing you do past 225 to 275 on a zero. <laughs> yeah, until you move on to, to numbers maps. Mm -hmm. And then it's using everything. You okay. do your, you do actual rotations around and stuff. Ooh. Nice. You finally get to use your kit. Yeah, you get to, you know, make an actual. Like, you know, there's a lot of strats with weapon throwing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Because you right. have yeah. beta weapon throw. So a lot of people will do, will have like a line that is specifically dedicated. This is the weapon throw line. Mm -hmm. And then you dash around it. And then every time that you come back to it, you weapon throw and you dash around it again. I see. I think I've seen, yeah, and thinking uh, Steve's video, I think he showed that as well for like the later combos you can do. Mm hmm. There's another line, there's another map in um, Solace that's really good for us. It's one of the Pledging Depths one, but that's a little bit more involved of mobbing. Right. That's like Tenembris kind of mobbing. Mm hmm. Um, so a lot of people just go. Final July four. Okay. As far as I've seen so far. Yeah, someone just saying that it's good for like a lot of um, for a lot of other classes as well. So I guess maybe if the burning is really low or it gets too crowded there, then you have the the other thing to fall back on. Yeah, I think it's plunging depths four. PD4. Or if you're too scared, you might fall asleep if you're <laughs> going to another to a more I've lazy done that map. Before. <laughs> I there is a rotation in. When I was doing my Dawn Warrior training, uh, Serpy Four Steps, mm -hmm. there's a, like a really brain dead rotation that you can do. Uh, and I almost fell asleep while doing it. <laughs> Not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> there's like a 30 second time span where you just sit there because your solar eclipse kills everything. Right, right. Uh, I mean, that is kind of yeah. nice, but yeah, there's a downside. It's really good rates. <laughs> yeah, really good rates for sure. Um, uh, all right, what is next that's... on the on the on the list? Is there anything we need to go over? Um, I'm trying to think. So, like, I'm trying to think. Like, when is because. You start getting towards superior gear once you can start claiming um, hard looks, right? Kind of, but I don't feel like you really make a huge dent until you get to Hellux. But yeah, you start you start building up the coins at Hardlux, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering like, what's the? Because you sort of use the coins, the the coins, <laughs> what? the rings, right? The rings. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm that you you sort of use the rings that would become drop rate rings as like your main rings for a while mm -hmm. like what's the point where you start um like thinking about tearing them up to like legendary and starting to roll meso item drop oh um usually right after the wse is when i start considering that okay right once like wse can start carrying your damage a little bit higher yeah, well, once once list. that carries you more in bossing, and then you let your boost nodes and your arcane power carry you in the mobbing, kind of. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense, because I was, like, I was, like, looking at my rings, I'm, like, I really want to get, like, mm -hmm. you know... Yeah, in, in general, you, do, you still prioritize them. Like, like, if you have a kind of farmer, you might prioritize more just going in flat damage just to go over to the higher levels and get the better experience rates a, bit, a little bit faster rather than the drop because you like shift the balance. But if you not don't have a kind of farmer, then you basically just go for the utility of the drop and the mezzo rate. Right, that's what I was saying. It's because like, I mean, one of the reasons why I was interested in Zero in the first place is the fact that I, I'm the kind of person who likes to play the one thing that I like at the moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, so being able to farm and train and boss on the same character is something that I'm interested in. Uh, so I'd assume that it's a little bit important for me to start. Is like once I finish, probably once I do 5, 10, 15 and maybe upgrade my emblem a little bit, I'm like starting to look at getting great rings, mm -hmm. increase my rates. Yeah, those do, um, yeah, it's just utility from the accessories in general, but accessories in general are high priority because they don't have that many junk lines compared to everything else. So whether you're going for damage there or you're going for the utility there, accessories are high up on a list. Gotcha. It's like, what it was, weapon, uh, weapon secondary emblem, uh, heart, badge, Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then rings or gloves and rings. Um, yeah, gloves is real. Yeah, the critical damage on gloves is big. But again, if you are okay with the damage, you can do the accessories first and then do the glove right after that. I see. But yeah, not okay. just rings, but also like pendants, eye face, earring. Like those are all right. pretty much the same category. Because if you look at the category as well for the cubing, for the circulator, you just have accessories and that's it. They all have like the same amount of junk lines. They have the same outcomes. Right, right, right. Okay. I don't think I have much else as far as questions. I think as... Um, I think what I have to do is just hope on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, that's it basically comes down to it. Yeah, it's hope Sunday goes well for me, and then if it does, then I'm clearing CRA pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's maybe a week at most if I if I really get those IED sources. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can solo three door. Yeah, the number is just like deceptively set. low, but that's yeah. Really yeah. think that I can solo a feeder once I get my weapon set up. It's a and huge amount of weapon attack, extra. <laughs> it is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, even from the 140 to the 150, I was looking at the different versions and I'm like, I'm missing out on so much. Yeah. Yeah. The base attack on lower weapons is significantly really lower. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I hope it goes well for me. Yeah, well, I hope so too. So I'll be, uh, we'll be praying to RNG Jesus once you, uh, I, I mean, I'll be doing some stuff on Sunday. I, I will almost toying with the idea of also getting the zero made before then and then maybe star forcing on the, on the zero hey. weapon before then. Maybe, you know, because it is a 5, 10, 15 and it would set you, set me up for Project CRA quite a bit as well. But the other thing is that if I, do that it's kind of un unrealistic to be like hey i'm gonna do project cra on my uh, on my zero here so here's where i grab my 21 star weapon and then we're just gonna <laughs> and everyone's like okay well this is kind of bullshit i mean that is realistic for zero though that's that's like it, when everyone yeah not as a first zeros, at least but... it's like you want to focus a lot of money into your weapon yeah because it's such a it's such a different kind of scenario you can never class. have two weapons right well, you can technically have two. Um, like when when you have a essence mm -hmm. equipped and you boom it, um, the trace is the essence trace, and you get back the one seventy weapon. So you have to apply the trace to your to your weapon, then apply the trace. You have to apply the essence, then the trace. So you you. In that case, you lose your potential until you get your essence back. Yeah, but you can't have like two sets of weapons, like two broadswords and no. two longswords in your inventory ever, right? No, you can't even yeah. unequip your weapon. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's just stuck. And it just switches if you switch stands kind of thing. Yeah, if you switch characters, it just automatically swaps for you. Mm -hmm. It has a little like dotted like flashing outline around the weapon that's currently active right yeah yeah the the little red thing like with nx basically yeah but, but it's yellow oh yeah it looks yellow here yeah okay yeah um or is it yellow because it's unique that might be yeah. no that's that's the yellow from oh yeah its I activeness see. yeah I see, I see. um i mean like even even if you did do the um even if you did do that for 5, 10, 15, I mean, that's kind of standard for zeros. Mm -hmm. That's not like... Yeah, I'll think about it. There's just so much other stuff to already work on. And there's also the... Yeah. I have some CR, I have some arcane stuff as well that I might just want to like YOLO up to 21. And that even if you it fails... New knuckle. Yeah, and I have a glove still that I'm <laughs> sitting on. And I could technically buy another item if I want to. I have over... I have like enough... Um, enough droplets to buy like a shoe or a, or a cape or if I wanted to. I, I probably won't, but... I could do that if I wanted to, so... It's something to consider at the very least. Someone already DC'd, right? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely something to consider. I think it's like... Like, I kind of want to do something similar to Project Zero once I'm like way later, because I mean, it's passive income, basically. Mm -hmm. I can just run in, do CRA on all my characters, and then run out and get a bunch of money without having to farm. Oh like, yeah, even it's, though it's so much. Like I even if you do ten characters, zero, 
Even like, though I'd be farming on my zero, mm -hmm. I'd rather not if I ha if I can avoid it. Uh huh. I mean, you just uh, call it training, and then you're good. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, once I hit two seventy five. I mean, that's, I'm, that's hopefully that's hopefully a lot of work. I don't hit two seventy five before I get to three before cap increases. <laughs> hopefully, I would be oh, yeah, you could just keep going. myself. Nah, you could just keep going. Yeah, I could just keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of experience. Don't underestimate it. <laughs> that is true. Uh, yeah, I think. I've. I mean, I've been waiting for you to do uh to do zero, so I can I can watch you play around with the class. But that, yeah, it's gonna be I, interesting. So I'm, I'm always going to suggest that you make the zero. But right, right, right. <laughs> Slightly biased there. Okay, I understand. I'm a little biased. <laughs> I did get everything to twelve stars, didn't I? I think so. Um, this stuff here in the picture, there's some, the accessories, I think, were at 10. Oh, the alien ones? Yeah, because yeah. they're expensive. Yep, yeah. So that makes sense, that you keep them there. I have one at 11, but it was it was struggling to get up to 12 for me. Yeah, so 12 is, like, so quick. close yet so far away kind of thing. Where it's like, oh, it's just one more, but you just keep going back to 10, and it's like, ugh. Yeah. And, yeah. I think that's mostly it. I don't think I have much else. I think, yeah. The rest of the money you just want to save, I think, for the potential on the emblem, and then start working on the accessories. So I wouldn't, um, once you get what you want with a weapon, or you get close to what you want with a weapon, then all the other money has already, has a pretty clear destination, right? Mm -hmm. So is the potential on the weapon at the moment uh, good enough for CRA, you think? Yeah, yeah, that's good enough okay. for sure. 15% yeah. attack, twice, 30% yep. attack. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's some some nice. good shit. Yeah, that's more than well, like yeah, generally what people have. The one thing is like if the ID definitely keep, like, keeps being a problem, then you might have to get your emblem up to where you can get some ID from that. Yeah. That is actually that uh potential roll on my weapon is from UI rolling on the uh oh, weapon UI. Mhm. Mm you can roll that with <laughs> like it's basically like inner ability kind of Yeah, you get system. points from bossing. Mhm. Mm I think I have like a ton stored up because uh, I was doing, I was using so much for my flaming, mm -hmm. uh, but then I was like, I was constantly running out and I was just like, I just want to get tier three flame because tier four using powerful flames is like kind of scary. It's like, you're, it's a lot harder to do that. Wait, it costs so points like, to flame? Yeah, it costs the weapon points to flame. Oh, okay. It costs uh, 500 weapon points and 50k Mesa. Okay, um, on top of the cost of the actual flame itself, right? I I mean, if you use the UI, then you don't. Then it doesn't cost anything. But it has, like, the value of a powerful flame? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's essentially rolling a powerful flame for free. Using oh. Meso and your your special weapon point currency. Right, and you have to, like, boss and do the, the mini dungeon thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I started rolling powerful flames on it, like, that I would get from bossing. Right. And I got 18 percent, 18 attack, which is tier three. <laughs> um, <laughs> close to close to the about best. About mid range for zero. Yeah, interesting. Well, this also only 18 because of the level right now, right? Right. It would go up to a lot more significant, I think, if I got it to 170. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, giving us a little bit of information about Zero. I know you wanted to chat about that and sell Zero to me as well. <laughs> I'm always happy to sell my classes. Uh, except I will never sell Ho Young ever again. No? <laughs> it, Ho, no, Young, no. Ho Young, I love Dawn Warrior and I still love Dawn Warrior. Mm -hmm. um, Ho Young, me and... You me broke and up? Kala yeah. have, a, have different opinions on Ho Young. <laughs> okay. I will say that. Um, <laughs> you fucking woke They're me. a little bit more, a <laughs> little bit more, uh, Ho Young, pro Ho Young than I am. Yeah, pro Young. I, I, I acknowledge its strengths. Yep. I acknowledge its strengths as one of the best burst classes in the game. Mm -hmm. But I also acknowledge its faults as being really buggy and kind of unintuitive. Mm. It's, um, <laughs> I like fucking around with it when I'm doing Rutabis, but I don't know <laughs> if I could main it. But I think it might be the closest. I don't think 
If the arc didn't exist, I might be meaning Ho Young, I think. Ho Young's fun. It's like it's a little bit scary to get into at first because the gauge is such like a big barrier. To they people. made it a lot better, right? Since then. It gives like yeah. passive points all the time now, and the fourth V helps you fill it up better. It's a little bit better as far as like um, I don't think it really increases like that those like the additional points from the fourth V and um, the changes that they did to the gauge itself doesn't really um, like increase like how much you can use the gauge, but it increases like the flexibility around it, it increases like um, mm -hmm. how you know it. it Oh yeah, the attack speed caps uh, sometimes in the beginning. Sometimes you'd end up with like this tiny little fraction left, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't be able to hit your hit like your. Yeah, that's skills. weird when you have like ninety eight out of a hundred, and you're like, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Because um, of yeah, the bad timing with the the ticks of the hyper or something. Yeah, they did fix that, and I'm good. I'm glad that they fixed that because that was mm -hmm. definitely a problem that I acknowledged like when I was bossing with it. Yep. Um. But the main problems I have with it is uh, bottle is just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of just acknowledge that bottle is pretty pretty wonky. <laughs> it's it's weird, and it's like at some point you have to start using like when you use your hyper the the thing where it makes your gauge fill up really quick. Yeah. Uh, you have to use bottle to burn some of your the inner circle gauge. I can't remember what it's called. Um, uh, talisman power? Talisman gauge. Yeah. You have to burn. You have to use bottle. Wait, how do I know it's talisman? You ex Ho Young. You really just blocked it, huh? <laughs> just yeah. Like, yeah. Forget I just everything. Remember that the other one's called scroll. <laughs> I moved Han to zero. Friendship with Ho Young ended. Zero is new best friend now. Don't you use bottle to burn some some of your talisman gauge? I think you could use the uh, you could use any of the other ones, right? The little blue summon or the or the 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 the, the gate thing. I think you can yeah, use both of those. You can use gate. I know you can use gate. Like you have, I think five. You have a lot of charges of talisman during that hyper skill. Mm -hmm. You, it's yeah. During you refresh Bors. clones with yeah. it. You you refresh ghosts with it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You can use it on gate. You can use it on bo uh, on bottle. Uh, and then I know that like what I used to do is I used to refresh ghosts at the end of it as well yeah to keep the duration a little bit longer even yeah um and refresh clones at the end of it too but it's like you're missing some damage if you don't use it on bottle yeah i think if you're bursting you do but if you're just you know random boss where you don't really need the burst you're just trying to get yeah. all the other stuff up you can kind of skip it clones are not like people always are like eh, clones are so hard to keep up it's really not <laughs> no but it everyone's, is very important to keep up. Everyone's constantly though. thinking about clones, about keeping clones up, and it's like mm -hmm. that's n once you get your hyper skill, it's literally brain dead. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you have buff duration, it's even more brain dead. And you're supposed to have buff duration at the oh yeah, that's your thing. Um, it, but bottles, bottles a buggy mess. It has issues with uh, with DCing you. It has issues mm -hmm. with like. Because it like sucks around monsters, right? And skills that move monster positions inherently have have had bad times in Maple Story. If you press it too quick, because it has the suck of the blow. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Can't uh, suck a blow too quickly. It's uh. <laughs> if you do it too quick, you DC. Yeah. Because it's like trying to move them towards you and away from you at the same time, and the game's like. Argh. It's like the not the hard DC, but the return to the screen like. Um, Return to channel select screen. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that you. one. Yeah, that's basically the the game is just being like, nope, I, ca no, I, I, I can't even do. right now. <laughs> that is also true. What Kala said, where it doesn't the gauge, the, your scroll gauge doesn't update like fast enough, so you can use bottle, you can do the suck in of bottle and the blowout of bottle, and then your by the time that the damage of bottle goes through your scroll gauge can still not have updated yet <laughs> so you're like you're like trying to press the the, the thing that you need your scroll for uh -huh. and it's just not coming out and then it will update i haven't used bottle i think since i got anything else <laughs> yeah the game can get confused in dcu if it's like that laggy if it's like super laggy and you're trying to press scroll and it doesn't it won't mm -hmm. work 
or if it's so laggy that talisman stays even after you use the bottle and <laughs> the game's like whoa 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 you're using like 500 talisman skills in a row well back to channel select you go <laughs> it's yeah i don't yeah. know it's it was one of those things like where it's just so like all these hoops and even and back then they had issues with the attack speed um the heaven skills didn't work properly with yeah the attack speed. that's mostly fixed now from what i understand and ground shattering wave was a little weird with the attack speed too mm -hmm. and that was like your main bossing thing Oh yeah. I don't know. I I got a little bit fed up with it enough to quit the class. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you have some <laughs> some grievances, you know. To it feels like you're not 100% sold on the class anymore. But you know, thank God you found something else that you enjoy, so you could spend yeah. your time there. Yeah. It's and definitely then, a cool class. I love the aesthetic of it. And you could just it yell. It looks at, beautiful. Uh, yeah, and and you can still yell at, at Kala every now and then about. <laughs> about yeah. how the class is not, <laughs> but Ho but Ho Young could do way better and stuff like that. I do still play it every day, uh, cause it's my Mesa Tor character. I see. Cause I don't have piggy bank on my zero, cause they removed it, but I still have it on my Ho Young. Rip. So I'm getting my piggy bank and then I'm moving over to my zero to do Maple Tor on. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we'll have to. I actually have. I can do it on my Kana you. too. Ugh, then I have to play Connor again. <laughs> Is it faster on the zero? Uh, probably. I mean, you move really fast. Yup. That is true. Yeah. You can get around pretty quick. That With is everything also moving, true. uh, sometimes to your detriment. Yeah. Um, yeah, true. One thing that I noticed is that switching, tagging actually moves you forward a little bit on some skills. Oh, okay. Uh, That's good to know. Like, just a tiny bit. It's just a little, little, little tiny bit. Like the... Like, take... like if you're holding down the Beast Tamer smash thing? Less than that. It's that's like just... It's nudge. just a small, small, tiny bit. But it, it's been enough to um, push me off of Ursus's paw. And then get killed by <laughs> Ursus jumping up. Nice. Um, just a tiny bit. It's like one of those things that you have to like learn to correct when, yeah, when you tag. Yeah, exactly. Step anyways, I'll bit. get out of here. I have to get ready for work anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, it's already work time almost? Damn, okay. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I got an hour and a half till I gotta be there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A little bit of time. Short right. shifts today, but I mean, I still gotta be there. Uh, yeah, if you want to keep your job. All right. Um, yeah, if there's anything else, hit me up on um, Discord or in the chat. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably like once I get off of work I'll think of something during my shift and probably be like <laughs> probably. waiting till tomorrow's stream and be like, <laughs> wait, I have another question. Yeah, no, I mean that's no problem, of course. And uh, definitely, well, we'll all be we'll all be star forcing on Sunday, but make sure to share and let us know how it goes. I hope I get twenty star. <laughs> we'll be rooting for you and rooting for everyone else. Yeah, I'm looking I'm looking for it. All right. All right. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. Yes, and I'll see you around. Yeah. All right, so we're able to reschedule our session that was going to be at a different day. Thank God Lynette was uh, f flexible enough to move around, so that's good. Uh, so we learned a bunch of stuff about zero. Apparently, the so the ID and the critical rate, that's usually the thing I zoom in on early on, right? That's the one thing that we are like, okay, well, get 100% crit rate, get your ID up functional let's go uh of course zero is like well i have different plants uh crit rate is all over the place so you have to overcommit on that uh which means heavy reliance on the in the link skills and in the legion early on for sure and then um id is deceptively low but the way you see it you can do 50 percent debuff on a monster which means that just the 50 percent gets you effectively with just the debuff already to 75 right so that's the thing to to think about. Of course, you do want to get to 90 or something, but that does mean that if you're just be just above 80, then with the 50% stack, you get over 90 functional already. So all you basically need is just like one line of IED on your um, on your emblem, and then you're just golden pretty much. And then once your Legion links, once all of that catches up, then you can roll out of some of the sources of IED that you have. But 
Uh, yeah, piggy bank is getting removed. I believe it's getting removed at the end of the awake event. So I think the 26th is the last day that you can buy it. And then on the 27th, I think you can't buy it anymore. I believe. Um, but yeah, hope you guys uh, learned something about Zero. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want a session just like these, or maybe very different, but if you just want to talk about something, either your account, you want to talk about classes, you want to talk about a certain boss, uh, anything uh, that's TOS friendly uh, is, uh, you know, can go. And uh, just check the description of the video to find out how to contact me and how to get one of these sessions. Until next one.